good morning. Monday 14th of May. Today is time for a little bit of luxury. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a really good breakfast today. No uh, muesli or anything like that in the tent. Now it's a nice hotel here. Quite good, the best uh, breakfast we've had so far in Turkey. The standard was getting lower and lower and lower until we turn up here and then uh, it's just shut up again. So yeah, there's everything we need now. Omelette, they have omelette, they have uh, hot chocolate, they have all, all things you, you need to have. It's some breakfast. a little bit home again. Yeah. Oh, that was good. So, have some breakfast here, then we'll go and do a bit of sightseeing, I think. There's a lot to see here, so that'll be good. So, we'll really enjoy our breakfast first, while well, we've got the chance. <laughs> Yeah, we're good to bike in. Okay, so this is uh, Konya, the home of 1.3 million people. Quite a big city, really. Also, one of the oldest cities in the world. History goes back here 7,000 years BC. So, it's also a very uh, conservative religious city. Okay, behind me now is the Mevlana Museum. This is the biggest attraction here in Konya. Also visited every year by 100,000 people, the pilgrims that come here to, uh, to visit his tomb and uh, visit the museum here behind me. So uh, we've been here three times, yesterday, once this morning and now this evening. So, so I'll show you some video now from when we was here yesterday and this morning so you can learn more about this place and have a look around. museum here and uh, here's uh, in the biggest mosque here in Konya Selimi mosque it's actually 82,000 mosques in Turkey one for every 800 people so this is a, a very nice mosque here. The people in the West now just know him as Rumi, actually uh, quite a famous guy in America, he's extremely well known. A lot of his poems is the most famous poet in uh, America. Uh, one of his famous teachings was the, if you want to change the world, start by changing yourself. And maybe that's where Michael Jackson got Man in the Mirror from, who knows. And one of the things he's famous for, he said he tried to find God in all of the mosques and churches in around this area here, but he couldn't find him anywhere. And the only place he could find him was in his own heart. So that's one of the main things he's, he's known for. Okay, now we're entering through the Salibian Gate. Entrance here. It's like you have to cover your shoes with plastic, so we'll do that. Okay, now I'm free to cover it. Let's go and have a look inside. So we just entered the building here. This is the tombs of some soldiers that came with Rumi's father and Rumi from Afghanistan. He's actually behind the wall here, but we can't see it for some reason. That's why men take their shoes off and they pray here, and the women have to pray behind the wooden wall here. So 
the room. He spent the, the last years of his life here in Konya teaching and preaching. And he died in 1273. He was a uh, he believed that all Christians, Jews and Muslims, they were equal. So he was honoured by all three religions when he died. He was a well-liked person. He didn't believe there was any difference between the different religions. He was quite unorthodox in that way. He was buried here in the Rose Garden. And later on they built a tomb for him. And in the later years they even built this uh, turquoise dome above his mausoleum. Rumi, he was a poet and also a musician. Also, he made a special form of dance where they used to uh, whirl around. They're, and his followers, they're called dervishes. And now you, you ever see in Turkey, the whirling dervishes. Uh, quite a famous form of dance. I was saying he's actually really popular at the moment, especially in USA. He's the number one selling poet in USA. But maybe his message that uh, Jews, Christians and Muslims are, are equal is a, a message that even applies today. A lot of his uh, wise sayings you can see on the internet on YouTube. Lots of them, if you search for Rumi on, the, on YouTube, you'll find a lot of his uh, poems. Lots of wise sayings, still relevant even to this day, 800 years later. So. Well worth uh, taking a look on the internet, on YouTube. Check out uh, this guy called Rumi. Just entering the gold district. It's called on the map. So they've got lots of gold. <laughs> All shops selling jewellery. Yeah. Lots of gold. <laughs> Jamie likes gold. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. <laughs> yeah, I'm with the silver train. Okay. Here we are. Time once again for Borax. So, sitting here on a very small table. I like small, low tables here in Turkey. <laughs> really nice little place to sit. Here in the corner. <laughs> We're in a park called Aladdin, Aladdin Hill, this is called. Basically a park in the center of Konya, built on the ancient walls of a, a citadel. Uh, basically a place where people just come and relax and uh, walk around, sit and talk and drink tea, like we're doing now. So, yeah. There's two explorers from Denmark. <laughs> now we are sitting here and drinking chai again. <laughs> That's what this park is famous for, so that's what we have to do. <laughs> mm, yep, forced to do it. Yeah, forced to do it. Okay, back in our favourite restaurant. Did try and go somewhere else, but it's a bit difficult when you've already been to the town's best restaurant. It's uh, good food and good value, so yeah, we're back. Got the good eye around again. Amazing place. Each each head waiter has got three waiters following him around. So uh, 
The second he clicks his fingers, there's water there, there's everything you need, it appears. <laughs> Amazing uh, to watch this kind of service. One thing you don't see here, everybody drinks this oil run or water. Here, there's nobody here in Turkey drinking uh, beer or wine. Or tea, even like young men that sit in the park drinking tea. Yeah. Okay, so that was Konya. There's only actually uh, planning to spend one day here. We actually spent two in the end. So, um, as it was such an interesting place to visit, but we also needed to get some. Uh, Clothes washed and got a haircut as well, if you can notice that. <laughs> so, so uh, we also managed to learn a little bit about Rumi, the main, uh, the Rumi Museum, one of the main attractions here in Konya. So, not too much, but just uh, quickly managed to get to grips with the basics. So, um, so, so tomorrow we're back on the bikes again. Our next destination, or main destination, there will be a place called Cappadocia. Um, it's sort of quite a big tourist place where there's a lot to see. People fly hot air balloons and all kinds of interesting places to see there. And on the way there's also a few attractions we're going to go and see. So, I don't know, it might be three or four or five days biking, depends on how where we want to stay on the way. So, uh, so we'll see how it goes, but tomorrow we're back on the bikes. Let's, uh, We'll uh, leave from our hotel here tomorrow, back on the bikes, back on the tent tomorrow, so... Okay, that was uh, two days in Konya, really interesting place, so uh, see you back on the road tomorrow. Today and this afternoon I went in the Turkish bath, just to try that, called the Hammam. Um, it was well wellness like in Denmark, it was just practical, having a wash. Uh, first, I came into a room where it was very hot and lying on some uh, hot marble just to sweat. And then I came into another room, not a private room, but a room where there was also other people. Um, and the lady gave me a, a scrub with a really rough, rough washing cloth. And um, afterwards, then she washed me with some soap all over and I had a bit of a massage. I was rinsed over with some buckets of water. Um, it's a funny thing to try and my skin feels very soft. Um, but it was a bit rough, not just wellness in Denmark, but still, good experience.